We have some new information on voting issues that Eyewitness News brought you first on air this morning. For the first time, we are hearing from the Director of Elections about some problems that affected Republican and nonpartisan voters at the polls today. Yeah, a lot of stuff unfolding uh, just the last hour or so. WBRE, WIOU, Eyewitness News has live team coverage of those problems at the polls and the possible lawsuit from the Luzerne County Republican Party. Let's start with reporter Nicole Rogers who spoke with the Director of Elections today. And Nicole, he is blaming a coding error in the voting machines. I first brought you this morning. I first brought you this story this morning with a live report about Republican voters noticing an incorrect labeling of their electronic ballots here in Luzerne County. Every voter, no matter their party affiliation, was seeing on their ballot the first screen says Democratic primary. I had the chance to speak with the director of the Board of Elections here in Luzerne County to get answers on what he says happened. Unfortunately, this morning, the machines were all shut down and people were losing their patience and they were leaving. Countywide, Loser and County voters have been experiencing issues casting their ballot. The biggest problem? Ballots labeled as Democrat are popping up on the screen regardless of the voters' party registration. But workers say when the Republican ballots are printed, they do say Republican on the top. This is leaving many voters concerned that their vote won't count because you can't cross parties in a primary election. It's disheartening. So it's like, in, so then when you get a, a person who gets elected in, did they truly get elected in is the question. I mean, no one can really answer that. Luzerne County Board of Elections Director Bob Morgan says the issue didn't originate here in northeastern Pennsylvania. He told us several times it was a problem with coding in the voting machines. It, takes, it took us probably about five weeks and uh, you know we gave a final product to Dominion. There is no uh, evidence of any of this problem on the mail-in ballots which were produced from that file. Uh, you know we're still uh, working with Dominion to get an explanation as to exactly how this coding error occurred. Um, you know, uh, they were as surprised, I think, about it as, as we were. So, I pushed the director about whether it was a possibility Luzerne County could be at fault. In that five-week process, is there any possibility that it could have been on your end and not theirs? No. At the end of the day, he says they're doing everything they can to combat the issue. We're doing signs. We're, we're, we've contacted each one of the judges of elections. Um, we've asked them to place a sign in their polling place. We are giving uh, Republican voters the opportunity to either vote by provisional or emergency ballot if they choose. I reached out to Dominion Voting Systems. I reached out to Dominion Voting Systems and they responded with this statement. Luzerne County's election director has confirmed that there is a ballot screen error that is confined to the header on the viewing screen of the machine and that all ballots are printing correctly with the Republican header and the Republican primary election races. As the county has reassured the voting public, all ballots will be correctly counted. We regret any confusion this has caused. Live in Luzerne County, Nicole Rogers, 2822 Eyewitness News.